Thank you and welcome. I'm here to walk you through the Atomic Assets Marketplace for NFTs. So now that you have an NFT wallet created on the Wax blockchain, you can use it to log in. So if you click on the login button here to the right, it will prompt you for your Wax Cloud wallet. I will log in. Since I've already been logged in, it just automatically took me directly to the site and I'm logged into my account and where the login button here was on the upper right hand corner now you see I'm logged in. So this is my account name w.wax.wam. It's also listed here and it brings me to the inventory page. Alright, inventory page is just that it shows the different uh, um, NFTs that you own. So I own a fair bit here. So you can see my NFTs. So let's just walk through how NFTs are laid out. So this is a, a card that I own. It's a cricket uh, card from a, a cricket player. So each NFT it has a name. There's an ID. There's the owner of the card, which I'm the current owner. And then you have what is called a mint number. So when the NFTs are created, there's a, a, a supply that they have. And they may have a max supply. And it says this max supply is a question mark. So it may not be maybe an infinite number of cards that will be issued on this but currently there are only a total of 386 and I have the 252nd card created from that uh, total supply of 386 and then there's the person that created it the, the collection name the schema name uh, the template ID okay. so that's how you can view um, this particulars of what's in your collection and all of them follow the same type of format so they have a visual component and then details about it so these are all the cards that are owned now since I own this card I can do several things with it I can trade it I can offer up for trade or I can list it on the market for sale so I'm going to list it on the market for sale Let's say this card here this is the lowest market listing. This one says it's 69 wax. And I'm going to put in an order for say 75 wax. Right? This is my listing price. There's going to be a collection fee that will be paid to uh, blockchain cards. There's going to be a marketplace fee that's paid to Atomic Hub. Then there's a tokenomic fee that's actually paid to the wax blockchain. And I will receive the remainder. So if you take, you know, 12 from 75, it'll leave me 66. Okay. Well, actually, it would be 16 because this is not 12, this is percentage. So 12% uh, of 75 is 16. So I'm going to go ahead and confirm. So each time that you commit an action on the Wax blockchain that requires permission because it's changing, either changing something that requires your account, it's gonna always prompt you for permission. So I'm gonna say confirm. And what I'm changing here is that I wanna create a, a sale. So it's asking me here, do I wanna create a sale? Yes, I'm gonna announce a sale. I'm a time in market, I am the seller. And I have a proposal of 75 bucks as my listing price. I approve this transaction. It says transaction is successful, is written to the blockchain. I can close it now. So that's how you sell something. Now let's say I wanted to buy something. In order to buy something, the atomic access, it has a menu here at the top. Here's an explorer. You just want to find things. There's a market if you actually want to buy something. And then there's trading if you want to trade or gift an NFT to another user. So I want to buy something. So let's go to the market. Find something here that's relatively cheap. Let's see if there's anything I like here. Okay, here's a Street Fighter card. I'm going to buy the Street Fighter card. It's 48 cents. So click to buy. It has all the information about it. It's uh, the mint numbers. 
here is 4503 out of 4593, so it's toward the end of the, um, the collection, but that's fine. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. I'm going to buy this for 1.99 wax, which is 48 cents. Again, this requires another transaction from my wallet, which needs my approval. I approve it. Then it's written to the blockchain, and I'm going to close it. Now I'm going to go back to my account by clicking on the upper right hand corner, go to inventory. Now you can see here, if I click on that one, you can see that's 4503, it's just the asset that uh, I purchased. Now let's say I wanted to send this to a friend of mine, so if I go back to my inventory, I can go to my friends list. Uh, let's see. This is one of my friends. I know all these are my friends. So I'm going to send this one to one of my friends. All right. So I want to transfer that to my friend. So I want to grab his. So either I can grab the username here or this double arrow. So this is to add a friend. This double arrow is to transfer. No, this is a transfer and this is to propose a trade. So I'm going to click on the transfer icon here. And then what, I'm, what do I want to transfer? Just the card. You know what? Actually, I like that card. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to transfer this, this box. All right. I'm going to say sent from me. And I'm going to select this transfer. This So this is how I can transfer a card to a friend of mine or even someone you may trade with. So this will cancel the sale. It's listed for sale currently. So I'm going to validate the sale and go ahead and send the transfer. So we'll cancel the sale, then send the transfer. And that's okay. So again, creating a transfer. This is from me friend and I'm gonna prove it. It's right here on the blockchain, it's complete, and I'll close it. All right? So and then one of the last things I want to show is how you can actually trade. So just like you would trade anything, you have something to offer and you want to receive something in exchange. So in this case, let's say I'm Go back to my friend. So we just don't have to find a new address. So I'm going to create a trade. So on the left hand side, this is my account. And it's going to show the assets that I own. So I'm going to say, I want to swap. Let me find a uh, an icon here. Okay. Let me find, you know what? I'll trade one of these. I'll trade the Bubble Dance promo. So I'm Create a bubble dance promo for his box by the ocean. All right. So what I'm gonna do is, so in this I can select one item or I can put some. Let's just say I wanna send three for one because if this was a very expensive item, then it may require more than one um, NFT to be able to create in order to send that. I know it's not, so I'm gonna remove those and just do. A one for one trade but I can do a one to many trade if need be and so I can say okay some trade offer I'm gonna confirm it because it's another transaction that needs my approval because it's accessing my account and so I created the trade now in the event that my friend doesn't like that trade you have the option to either cancel the trade, approve the trade, or make a counter offer. And so, this tutorial has walked us through on how to buy an NFT by going to the market, how to list an NFT for sale on the market, how to transfer an NFT by sending it to a friend, and how to create a trade offer by sending it to anyone 
on the Wax blockchain that has an asset that you want to exchange for and give them the opportunity to accept your offer. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. And now you know how to buy, sell, trade on the Wax blockchain via Atomic Hub. Thank you.